hey everybody so I thought I would do my MAC eyeshadow collection I have done my MAC lipstick collection and if you want to go and check that out have a look on my channel um, but yeah I'll just get straight into it so I used to start collecting MAC eyeshadows I think I was about 16 when I first had my MAC makeover and um, absolutely loved it and so my collection started from there I then went through a massive gap of not buying MAC eyeshadows at all because I just felt they overpriced and I got into the fashion side of life so my money would go on that so these eyeshadows I've had for many 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 years and I mean years so um, I'll just get started so basically I store my MAC eyeshadows in this so my single eyeshadows like this um, I've only just started a pro palette as I didn't know about that before I started blogging. Basically a pro palette for those that aren't aware is you buy your own um, case for eyeshadows and then an insert to put the eyeshadow pans in and then you buy the pans which look like this and then those go in. So um, yes, so I've got loads of these. I haven't got a massive collection compared to some bloggers but Hey, let's just get started. So yeah, I get, I put them in vintage sweet jars or in vintage teacups, vintage plates or vintage glass pedestals. Um, so first things first is a matte finish. So like eyeshadows, MAC used to. I don't think they do anymore from what I'm aware of. Um, they used to put finishes, uh, what finish each eyeshadow was. I don't know if they still do because on the pan that I just received today, it hasn't got a finish on it. So who knows? I don't know, but comment on comment in the box below to let me know because I haven't got a clue <laughs> not down with the kids so this first one is Swiss chocolate which is a matte finish matte eyeshadows are very much as it says they are matte there's no shimmer no shine to it no glitter um, and I find they're quite intensely pigmented they are beautiful so Swiss chocolate is um, one that has always been a classic of mine so that's it there real beautiful for a good smoky look and it is what it says, Swiss chocolate. It looks just like chocolate, so that's it there. Hopefully the swatches that I do and showing you the eyeshadow, that it all looks okay, I hope so. So next is Carbon. I find that a lot of black eyeshadows aren't black, they're not intense enough for me, but this one is. So yet again, another matte finish, and it's just a jet black eyeshadow. Da, 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 da. So that's it there. A real gorgeous shade. Yet again, perfect for a smoky look. And then next is Poison Pen. Yet again, another matte finish. This is a matte purple eyeshadow. One of my favourites. Always worn this. And that's it there. And it's one that I've worn all year round. Just mixed it with different colours. And with gold, it looks really lovely. Really beautiful. So that's it there. So that's a purple matte shade. Got the wet wipes. Da, 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 da. Right, next is copper plate. Yet again, another matte. And that's a grey, uh, like an elephant almost shaded grey, if that makes any sense. And that's it there. So, yeah, copper plate that one is. Right, so those are all my matte shadows. Right, I have actually done this video, but my camera decided to stop working midway. <laughs> Good old technology. Right, this is a velvet finish. Velvet finishes are quite metallic-y. They tend to be two-toned. Two-toned in the sense of a base and then another colour on top of it. I don't know if I'm right, but that seemed to be what a lot of the velvet ones were like. So this is purple with mixed with bronze and it's got bronze glitter in it. It is absolutely beautiful. I think it's one of my top three MAC eyeshadows. I absolutely love this one and this is one I've had for a long, long time and it's one that I would repurchase if ever it ran out. So that's it there, so I hope they never discontinue this one. So it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. And that one is Trax. Next, Velvet is Mulch. There it is there. So this is um, what I would say a bronze, a brown mixed with bronze. That's it there. So the two-tone look to it. So you can see the bronze glitter and the bronze shimmer through it. And the base is like a real deep brown. And that's gorgeous as well. Really lovely on the lower lash line I found that one is. Right, then next is 
is Woodwinked. This is a Velux Pearl. This has got quite a sheen to it. If I can open it. Just take the other eyeshadows off my hand. And this is, I find, popular amongst lots of bloggers. That's it there. A real beautiful, metallic -y gold colour. A real shiny, shiny, shiny one. Stunning in the inner corners of the eyes, this one. So that's Woodwinked, that one. Next is Cranberry. This is another one of my top three. This is a frost finish, so it has a frosty metallic shine to it. It's a real beautiful berry shade. I find this suits everybody. Um, and it is one that I wore non-stop in autumn, winter. That's Cranberry. Absolutely stunning. A real favourite of mine. And then finally, out of all my single ones, is Mythology. This is a luster finish. And this is more like the lipstick, a bit more, um, it's not as pigmented, you need to build up a lot to see the true colour. So that's it in the middle there, so that's Mythology, so a bronzy, almost with a pink hint to it, a bronze shimmery colour, and that's Mythology there. So those are all my single ones, and then I've got some quad eyeshadow sets, which I got a long, long time ago after I had my makeup done at MAC. So this one is called Thunder Eyes. I don't know which one is which because I can never figure out from what they write at the back because instead of one, two, three, four, or left, top, left, top, right, they've got um, F, F, V, and VP. Someone like me, I'm not sure what that means. Um, but there it is. So you've got um, the eyeshadows in there are Thunder, Rye, Sketch, and Scarab. So you've got a deep purple there. I'll just swatch them. A light pinky purple, as you can see, it's one that I've used a lot, and I've used that one as a base. And then a, a deep metallic green, and then an olivey goldy green. And they all work beautifully together, as you can see. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this quad. This is one that I always use for winter, autumn, winter time. Real, 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 real pretty one. And the next is my summer one. And it is called Summerwear. Well, uh, yeah. So it is nylon, julep, luster leaf, and lightweight. So a deep blue, just watch them. A light blue, metallic y blue. A green, metallic green. And a metallic y yellow, yellowy white with a hint of blue. So that's it there. This is a stunning quad that really does make your eyes look wow. So yeah, it's a favourite of mine, this one. It's beautiful. And then finally onto my um, MAC collection purchase that I got. This is my latest big thing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I got this in the summer. I think the collection was called Glamour Days or something. And that's it there. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. This is called Guilty Passions and it's four tenderly warm crushed metallic pigments. So if you want to find a dupe for this, I'd probably say Barry M. They've got probably good dupes for it. It's a good, same good quality. So the first one is Darling Coquette. Croquette, Coquette and this is a stunning gold, light goldy shimmery shadow. And then next for a darker one is Ever Elegant. These are literally metallic, beautiful shades. And this one I'd say is a very deep metallic bronzy brown. And that's it there, so that's what they look like. Next is Rose Light. So this is a pink metallic. And that's it there, very Barbie-like. That's it there. Right, and then finally at that collection is Silk Stocking, which is a metallic gold, I'd probably say, and that's it at the bottom there, and that's it there. So these are beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows, absolutely stunning for nights out, really pretty. And then finally, 
as I was saying at the start of the video, I started a pro palette. So this is the bit where the pans go in. I just need to get the um, outer case, which was sold out. This is £6.50, if I'm right. And for it, I got the shadow Woodwinked. So the pan comes like this, basically. I don't know what finish it is, because as I said, I'm not sure whether they've stopped doing that. But this is a subtle... Mm, subtle gold I'd say which is perfect for the daytime so that's it there I'm not sure whether you can really see that one so yeah that is my MAC eyeshadow collection I hope that's okay um, any recommendations for any other MAC eyeshadows please comment in the box below and thank you for watching guys bye